Hello, welcome back to Gordon's channel. In this video, we will be learning the basics of backend programming in Python. And in particular, we will be learning how to use foodcanada.js in Flask. So actually, this is a question asked by Boris Epi. Thank you, Boris. So first of all, we will go to install the Python and PIP. So Python, we can download from the official website and go to the download session to download 3.9.0 and for the PIP, it is the package manager of Python so if you go to uh, the code editor for example, I'm using VS Code and go to create a terminal and let's see so if I type Python version I can see that I already have Python installed and if I type PIP version I can see that I already also have PIP installed so uh, after that, I can check, use the PIP install flask to install the flask. So if I type it, uh, I will see that actually I already have flask. So uh, if I check flask version, I can see that I have flask installed. So uh, after that, we can go to uh, uh, create the app.py file. And we will use the from flask import flask and render template. So let's go to the VS Code and start to coding. So first of all, in the project directory, we renew a file app.py. Oh, so you name it app.py. And inside the app.py, this is the entrance file of our server. And first of all, we will need to import the flask. So from flask. We import the flask now. Uh, here we need to use the capital one, but if we type enter, uh, VS Code will be too smart to convert it. So we control Z to make it capital, and we will also import the render template. So here, first of all, we will need to initialize the app, which is a flask instance, and let's pass a name to it. Just any name you like. For example, full Canada demo, and after that, we will create the basic route, the home route. So, for the home route, uh, I will um, define the home function, which is return a uh, web page. So, I will use the render template function. For the render template function, we will need to import it and we will need to uh, pass an argument to it, which is a template file in the templates directory. So, we need to right click. New folder and T E M P L A D E S with the S templates. So now we can create a new file, for example, index.html. So for the index.html, we can keep it simple. And let's say we keep we make a happening, uh, go on to the Canada route. And the text just make it Canada. Okay. So this will be uh, our basic wrap and here we need to pass this uh, field template into the render template function so now we can go to uh, run the flask um, commands so we have the rust command and the run command so if we use the flask rouse you can see that currently we have the home and static and if you use flask uh, run we can run it in a local server so it is the 5000 port so let's go to uh, browser and go to uh, run the 5000 part. So at the 5000 part, we have a info web page with a hyperlink to the Canada route. And if we click into it, uh, we don't have the Canada route both for a lot of fun because we have not cooked it yet. So let's get started. So uh, now we want to create a second route. Canada. And we can define a another function, for example, call it Canada. And this one will return another web page, which is called Canada.html. HTML. So here we need to in the templates folder we create an other file called Canada.html. So we will uh, use the template. So now this is the uh, breaking point. So how do we uh, use the full Canada.js in Flask. So it is here. 
So first of all, we need to import the style sheet and the script. So uh, how do we get the file? So here we can go to the full character official website, uh, click into get started. And if we scroll down a little bit, we see that uh, first of all, we can use npm install if we are using the Node.js, but we are not, so we can do it on end. So if we want to uh, import from a local uh, same, same uh, URL, then we download it, but we can also use the CDN. So this is the JS deliver and use the full Canada, not the scheduler, because this is premium and need to be paid. So we use the normal full Canada CDN. So click into it. So on the JS deliver, there are several files. So what we need is the main.min.js, the minified version, and also the main.min.css. So let's copy the URL and go back to VS Code. So here in the head, we need to uh, import it. So script SLC and paste the URL we just copied. And we also need to have a link, which is a style sheet. And the URL is basically the same, but the extension is changed from JS to CSS. So this is the latest version 5.4.0. So even more update than my tutorial. And then we have the CDN from JS deliver. So this is importing the library. And now how to use it. So we will create a div first. So this will be the container of the Canada. And we need to uh, add an ID so it the uh, uh, JavaScript can get this DOM. And after that, we can uh, use a script tag. And now we need to, uh, first of all, get an element. So, Canada element equals to the document docket element by ID. Element by ID. So, the Canada. And after that, we need to uh, create the Canada object. So we will renew full Canada dot Canada or uh, both capitalized. And we need to pass two arguments into it. The first one is the uh, Canada element, and the second one is some options. So let's leave it blank now. And lastly, we need to render the Canada render. So let's save it. And let's restart the server. So uh, let's go to browser. Yeah. So if we go back, this is the home route. If we click on it, so now at the calendar route, we already have the Canada running. So this is the full Canada. And lastly, uh, I want to introduce how to add events to the uh, Canada from the server. So we will need to uh, put it into a list and make every event a dictionary. So let's go to uh, our VS Code. So here, uh, if we do it in the JavaScript, it will be uh, events in and uh, JavaScript array of objects. So with the title and the start. So we have the title property and the start property. But if we do it in the uh, Python, in the server, we will create a new, ob we will create a list. And this list will contain some dictionary. So we will um, contain some dictionary. So we can design the property name here, for example, name being to do and um, the date being the date. And for the to do, let's say um, the first to do, let's say, um, Tutorial for Boris. So this is the so which is this video and the date is today. So 2020, uh, 12 7. And let's uh, say another one, for example, to do. Say uh, this will be code now. So let's say it's some hot pot. So it's some hop up and let's uh, the date be let's say it is um, tomorrow F three eight right so uh, now I have two uh, events 
stored in the, this event. And how do I pass it to the field template? So inside the vendor template, I can add a argument, which is a keyword argument. So I, if I want to point it as events, and I will call it events equals to events. So this events I refers to this like list, and this one, this is the name which we will use in the uh, field template. So let's save it and go back into our HTML. So here, uh, instead of rendering it directly, we will do it this way. So uh, it will be, uh, we will need to use the um, syntax of the Python field template. So uh, it will be percent bracket percent percent for event in events. Uh, after we start typing this, we will see that the VS Code start to hint us that there are some problems because this is not JavaScript syntax, but this is the uh, class syntax. So, and then we will need to close it with the bracket percent percent. Uh, here is n4. So for event in events, and at the end we need n4. So inside we will have many uh, events, and remember we need to add a comma here, so to separate each event. So for each event, it will have it will be a JavaScript object with two property at least the title and the start. And in JavaScript we need we don't need to make them string. We don't need to add quotation mark to them. The property. But we need to add quotation mark to the value. And here, uh, for the value, because we want to use the property inside the event, so we need to use the string. So it is bracket bracket. And same bracket bracket. And now we need to use the event dot. And go back to check it, which is to do. Event dot to do. And for the next one, it is event dot. Page. This event page. So it is like this. So uh, bracket percent for event in events, and then bracket percent and for, and in between bracket and bracket comma. So in between title and start. So it will be bracket bracket event to do and bracket bracket event date. And this is passed in by um, this list passed into the render template with events equals events. So let's save both, save it, and if we see the dot, we save it. And now we need to uh, restart the server. So Ctrl C and then flash one. So let's go to the browser and refresh. Wait, so we already have the events here rendering correctly. So this is how to use full Canada.js in a flash project. So uh, thank you for watching this video. And uh, if so, please uh, subscribe my channel and uh, show some support to me. And if you have any other questions, feel free to ask me in the comment section and I will try to answer when I'm free. Thank you. Bye-bye.